Welcome back, folks. The event has finally ended for a few days, so I could test out these new event lures, uh, the St. Patrick's Day ones. Um, I'll be honest. I'm not going to sugarcoat this. As you guys can see, uh, I'm down on money. I've been to a lot of places. For the most part, these these lures, not not great. Not great. Now, I'm not saying they won't catch fish. But at my level where I'm at, you know, where you have all the gear and stuff and you have X-Series stuff and Patriot stuff, these are not very good. Um, they might help you if you're lower level, but nothing, not a whole lot stands out. Like this frog popper wasn't, I'd definitely take the bullfrog popper or the X-Series one over it. Um, some other ones too will go... I'm going to go over some of them. Obviously, this Clover Spoon was here last year. That's pretty good. I will give that one credit. That one's pretty good at Naharan. And a lot of them other little mud water, them type lakes and, uh, in New York. And that hasn't changed. That's still pretty solid. It's not as good as the Eagle Spoon from the Patriot Pack. Uh, but it's, it's not bad at all. It's definitely not a bad one. And then we also had a few others, too. Uh, that, but the main ones I'm going to talk about being okay, we're going to go over here quick. This, the Stout Walker, this actually isn't too bad. It, it, it's, not, it's not as good as the Patriot Walker, for those of you that have the Patriot Walker. I tried it at a bunch of places. I even went up to Alaska, uh, you know, for the... Dolly Vardens and the Bull Trout. And honestly, they were, I mean, it, it works, but it's not as good as like that or even X Series Walker. Uh, but it does solid. It does work. Um, a, a pleasant surprise, actually, for me, um, it, it was the swim bait actually does pretty well. But this is one that uh, I used it. I had the most luck with it down in the South American maps and the African map. Uh, but, I mean, the hook size is a little small to 3 0, but it worked pretty good. Um, and there was some surprises within this pack. This, uh, where is it right here? Let's find it. I know it's in here in this extreme mess I have going on. Okay, here we go. This pipe, this popper pipe, one ounce. This thing, surprisingly, was not that great. Um, I, I tried it at a few places. It wasn't terrible, but it didn't catch much when you compare it to, like, the, the milk popper or any of these major poppers here. Now, probably my favorite two things from the pack, the buzzbait and nymph. Uh, this buzzbait does pretty well. It works pretty much anywhere else you'd use a buzzbait, so there's a lot of places there. Now, I wish the hook size was a little bit bigger on it, but it's not bad. But the kind of the one thing that stands out in this pack over the others, and this is going to sound very weird, <laughs> is this crayfish. Um, this crayfish is surprisingly decent at bass, and um, we'll go down to my other crayfish I have and I bring keep with me. Uh, and, and it's actually really good at bullheads and, and little catfish, believe it or not. Um, I didn't have as much luck with the bigger catfish with it, but it still worked. This is probably, this is the only thing in my, from the event that I probably would say is my best now. I like it over the other crayfish that I normally use. In fact, I actually almost like it as much as the X-Series Glow Cross, surprisingly. Um, and it, it works really well in a lot of places, this crawfish. Uh, for example, at Mudwater, it works really good for them bullheads them uh, in, in St. Croix. Them two, you know how they have the, the bullheads, the brown and black bullheads at both places. So here is the brown bullhead. And they actually take that crawfish, surprisingly, uh, better than I thought. And also, it does work for the 
Channel Cats. It, it definitely seems to work pretty well for the Channel Cats. So, uh, I'm not saying it's the best by any means, but it's probably the best out of the crawfish lures, uh, which, honestly, we don't use a whole lot, a lot or I don't. Um, but I figured I would tell you guys about this. I'm kind of disappointed in this pack as a whole. It wasn't very good. Even even when you compare the buzz bait to the other ones, it's okay. It's not the best. The swim bait wasn't bad, and the walker wasn't bad. But there's other stuff better than that. And it, it's kind of surprising, because when you think about these events as a whole, I can't think of any event that even comes close to the 4th of July event. Uh, you guys will have to let me know down there. Outside of the 4th of July event, um, I mean, the the Roach Spoon works good uh, from the Halloween event. Obviously, it's one of my favorites, but everything else is, you know, Patriot, Media, Liberty, Medium Spoon, the Patriot, uh, Crankbait. It just seems like when you compare every other event uh, to the... Uh, the Patriot event, it seems to fall very short. But anyway, guys, hopefully you have a wonderful day. We'll see you next time, folks. Have a good one.